You are listening to the Bulldog Educator Podcast by host Kirsten Wilson, production work done by David Galvez, and music curated and created by David Galvez. This is being recorded on Anchor FM. Welcome to the Bulldog Educator Podcast with your host, Kirsten Wilson. My next episode was supposed to be on the core values of the Bulldog Educator, but I didn't feel it was right to start with that until I um, talked about what is currently going on in our country. So this is a bonus episode that I'm doing after my launch before I begin into the content of the Bulldog Educator. And really, uh, this comes from a place of wanting to be an ally along with my friends who have been harmed and mistreated um, through what has happened with George Floyd and other African Americans um, who have not received the same equitable treatment in this world um, because of the color of their skin. I just kind of wanted to have a conversation with you um, in this podcast. Tomorrow, I'm going to be joining a webinar titled How White Women Can Talk with Women of Color About Race, and it's hosted by Amanda Kemp, who's the founder of the Racial Justice from the Heart, and Dr. Erica Fitz, who's their senior trainer for the racial, for racial justice from the heart. Last week, um, right after the murder of George Floyd made its way to me while I was with my family in the Buffalo National Park in a place that was so remote that my cell's perception was spotty, it took me a while to really comprehend what was going on um, because I couldn't get service to to really read content to figure out what was going on. Um, And obviously, we were on vacation When I really started to ascertain what was going on, I was completely shocked, and I didn't know what to do. I knew I wanted to help, but I didn't know how. And then this invite uh, for this webinar that I'm attending tomorrow came across um, my social media feed. And while I had a brief moment of cell service when this came across, I didn't even pause. I immediately registered because I could do that and I could learn. Since then, I've been reading both published content and the content of um, people of color that I have come across. I've listened to my pastor, Rick Bazette, who rather than offering his ideas this last Sunday, invited one of his black faster friends, Jimmy Rollins, to speak. Our pastor asked him, what can we do as the body of Christ to do better? And there was a few things that Jimmy shared. He encouraged us to lead with compassion. Um, As white Christians, to lead with compassion. And compassion means to lead with understanding, with patience, with grace, and with a willingness to learn. And the other thing he um, encouraged us to do was allow people time to process. And I think that's really important because if we don't allow the time to process the hurt, the grief, the anger, then are we really joining with them? Are we really standing beside them? And he also said something that really stuck with me is that we have to have dialogue We have to sit and listen with one another before decisions can be made. Um, My pastor actually modeled some of this reaching out for dialogue in the way that he reached out and asked Jimmy Rollins to speak to us. And so it set on my heart as something that I needed to do as well. So I first reached out to um, a black educator in my children's school, and she graciously received my ask when I said, how can I do better? And some of the things that she told me, and one of the reasons that I'm using my platform tonight, she told me as an ally 
that I need to speak up for people in, of color in meetings where there's re, um, decisions regarding hiring, with legislation, and with educating their children. Most of all, she said, teach my own children at home to love everyone and to teach them to speak up for those who are racially oppressed, racially profiled, and unable to speak for themselves in the highest places. She said, but most of all, give vocal support. Use your voice to support us. In addition to that, I also reached out to one of my own children's friends. Um, One of the things that you'll hear throughout the Bulldog Educator podcast is how important student voice is to me. And it was really important for me to get the perspective of a, a teenager that has just graduated as a senior and is going into her next journey in life. And um, so when I reached out to her, she has connections with um, my son and daughter through band and theater. And I didn't know what her response would be. I, re- I She didn't owe me anything, but I was hoping she would be open to share with me her voice on everything. And bless her, she did. She sent me links to petitions regarding justice for George Floyd's death. And we've continued our conversation through text, and she is sharing and teaching me so much, and I'm so grateful for her. And then today, there's a friend who um, I met as a, actually not today, but met over a year ago as a fellow greeter at my church. She was someone I was instantly drawn to. And then during COVID-19 closures, we weren't seeing each other. We don't talk often other than when we would be at church really only when we would serve. We were both very busy career women and mothers. And she was the first person I actually thought of to reach out to when I heard about George Floyd. But I paused. I'm not sure why I did. I finally texted her and to ask her how she was doing today. And when she replied back to me, she told me that I was the first Caucasian to reach out to her since this all happened and that she was concerned for her two sons. I was heartbroken and so angry at myself for the pause. That first instinct to reach out, I should have done it. She needed to know that myself and those like me Stand with her. I could list and suggest links that we can learn. There are a lot of resources out there at this point, um, so I'm not going to list that. I do know that George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and the many others need us to learn deeply and understand, so I don't want to undermine that. But my message tonight is that I'm seeking to connect with others I'm seeking to connect with and listen. Listen is what I'm trying to do. I think we can also lean in and connect. I don't want to hesitate to reach out again. I don't want to pause. I've also downloaded the book White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo. And tomorrow, when I listen to the webinar how white women can talk with women of color. I plan to take another step as an ally to do better.